Well, at number five, it's Giants receiver Kenny Galladay, who was banged up in the preseason dealing with the hamstring, missed a lot of time. That could explain his slow start. He's been playing better as of late, and with the Giants banged up at wide receiver, there's a lot of volume up for grabs, and he looked by far the best that he has all season last week. So trade for him. At number four, Daryl Henderson, who plays tonight on Thursday Night Football. So get those trade offers in right now. But he has played 91% of the snaps, has nearly all the carries, has all all the targets and goal line carries amongst their running backs there in games where he has stayed healthy and it is a high powered offense and he does have the second easiest remaining schedule for fantasy running backs at number three it is my boy who I am still trying to acquire even though the slow start Jonathan Taylor he leads the NFL and carries inside the 10 still hasn't converted any to a touchdown but they will come he has over 16 touches in all three in three games this year. He's coming off his best game, and the schedule opens up. He has the most favorable schedule amongst all fantasy running backs the rest of the way. At number two, it is Calvin Ridley. The production hasn't been there, but the usage has. He has double-digit targets in three straight. He has five red zone targets in his last two games combined. And last week alone, he had nearly 200 air yards. We love to see all of that. And with him being out this week, the chances are the fantasy managers with Ridley are frustrated and maybe in need of a win, so you might be able to get him on the cheap there. And then at number one, Stephon Diggs. He has had double-digit targets in three of four games. He's averaging 131 air yards per game, which leads the NFL. And he has multiple red zone targets in three of four games this year. The usage has been exactly what we wanted. The production hasn't been there, but I think that changes this week with a big game against the Chiefs, and then his schedule opens up. So get him now while you still can. I've traded for him in three of my leagues already this week. And those were the five players that I'm trying to trade for right now.